Sunday, August 2nd. Joining me in the studio is J.P. Goodwin and Teresa Bernhardt, and we're going to talk about Art in the Park, which uh, is coming up next weekend. So good morning. Good morning. How is everybody morning, today? Very, Very well. well, thanks. Nice. And a glorious day. Another in the glorious day yes. here in the Mount Washington That's Valley. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about art in the park and uh, give the the quick overview of art in the park. Art in the Park uh, was started over 30 years ago by the Mount Washington Valley Arts Association and it is a bringing together of artists and fine crafts people who are juried through us in all different mediums to offer their wares and to show the public what we do and we include um, a few raffles, we include live music thanks to Russ Lenoy and then a Last year, we decided to include more nonprofits other than just the Mount Washington Art Valley Arts Association so that it could become more of a community event. And it's become much more of a festival by inviting Teresa and her entourage in to join us. Well, that's terrific. So, how many artists do you think will be there next week? Uh, over 20. And more than that will be represented there. And what fun, I mean, I've been going to it for years, uh, as we were just talking about. It's been going on for over 30 years, and it's one of those great things. You, you, you drive into North Conway, there you are at Sugar Park, and there's all this art. I mean, what a great combination of both uh, the North Conway area, the Sugar Park, and the art, all mixed into one. And it's a very, very old valley tradition. Artists started coming here in the middle of the 19th century. Right. And um, we do have some vintage artwork at Art in the Park. It is yesterday and today. That's the subtitle. Yeah. And always has been. And um, we like to continue that tradition. We don't um, get hired by hotels and spend the summer there painting little paintings. We now paint all on our own, right. mostly in the Mount Washington Valley. And so we like to give back what we create. Absolutely. Well, I remember a few years ago being down in Boston, I think I've told this story before, at the Boston Museum of Fine Art, and just kind of walking through and all of a sudden going, wait a minute, that's Intervale. And um, it was just amazing. And then the history, as you say, the history of art in the Mount Washington Valley is unbelievable. It is. Unbelievable. It so is. It, it's a long-standing tradition. Yep. And you guys have preserved it. We have. We try. It, it's, you know, 180 years of tradition. So it's, that part's nice. really interesting. Yeah. And yes, we, we have that in mind. That's terrific. And then let's jump over to you, Teresa. Let's talk about the nonprofits and the, the other part of Art in the Park this year. So it's the second year in a row that we have a second tent uh, at Art in the Park. And it's uh, simply, or not simply, but it's for nonprofits. Uh, we invite, excuse me, nonprofits an opportunity to tell their story, show their wares, if you will. Um, it uh, came about, shall we tell the story? Just, sure. Yeah. Last year I worked with the White Mountain Board of Realtors celebrating the 50th anniversary and we decided we wanted to give back for um, the 50 years that we'd been, uh, you know, <laughs> blessed basically in the valley. <clears throat> so we thought that um, having an event in the park, uh, in Schuler Park, would be an awesome thing to do. And as we started looking into it, we realized, wow, this is not as easy as, as it sounds because there's, it's a big permitting process. It's figuring out which weekend. So someone suggested to me, why don't you see if you can tie in with uh, the arts people, the Mount Washington Valley Arts Association. I give JP a call. I'm invited to a meeting. And the next thing you know, we're working together. We have a tent, uh, an opportunity to work with them, provide our own tent, and be there with them and share this event. And it was successful last year. And we decided, um, well, I decided I, I want to keep on working on this event. Well, that's and terrific. We got a shot right there of the, uh, of the yeah. two tents last year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so the, it's just, it's a great combination. It as is. you say, and yeah. and uh, there's over 100. I, I think it was 170 nonprofits in the Mount Washington Valley. Uh, I think that's the number. Right yeah. around, right around that yeah. number. It's a huge so, number. So it's a lot of opportunities, and as you were mentioning earlier, and has really kind of become the the motto of the nonprofits. Let's all work together. Let's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're all here supporting the valley. Let's all work together, not against each other, but together. So what a great opportunity yeah. to be able to do that. And uh, Lisa Dufo, of course, has done so much with Valley Promotions. Uh, over the last few years. And I want, I need to mention too. And she is actually technically our partner, although that's Teresa's. Right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Valley, <laughs> that's right. Valley Promotions is the partner with the Mount Washington Valley Arts Association. Mm -hmm. I'm a worker bee. 
<laughs> She's a <laughs> real heavy-duty worker bee, though. Well, but you know, when you're passionate about something, it's very easy to do, and this is something mm -hmm. that I am very passionate about. But Lisa Dufo uh, happily jumped in. She was one of the sponsor, well, one of the people, uh, nonprofits who had a table last year. Loved the uh, event and happily took it on as the partner with mm -hmm. the Arts Association. Mm -hmm. so. And you've got some presenting sponsors this year. Absolutely. Um, Badger Realty, uh, my employer for 22 years. Uh, we're 50 years old this year, and Dick Badger and Brenda Levitt decided they too want to give back for their 50 years of um, being here and being here quite successfully. Uh, so they put back their own giving back program, uh, and there's a whole list of things that Badger Realty is doing in part, as part of theirs. One of them is the gold, one of the two gold sponsors for this Art in the Park event this year. The other gold sponsor is the Conway Daily Sun. We have two silver sponsors, North Country Fair Jewelers. Brian is <laughs> perpetually always sponsoring and supporting always. things. That, that guy deserves so much credit. Pelican Group Financial Services is another uh, silver sponsor, and we have a list of eight uh, bronze sponsors that I'll mention as the, through the course of this uh, to give them mm -hmm. mention. That's great. That's great. Yeah. So what a great event. So it's on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Correct. And as you said, there'll be live music going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine there's going to be some eateries or some eats there. There will. Actually, the Met Coffee House, which is our exhibit partner, we have gallery space at the Met Coffee House, the Mount Washington Valley Arts yep. Association. And they will be offering beverages at the corner of the park, and they now have a luncheon menu, which will be available to any Anybody who's in the park. Terrific. Now you brought along a painting this morning. Well, just so that a we piece. can uh, that we can uh, show off here, and they're going to come in here and zoom in on the camera here. So it's okay. not just going to be uh, me kind of holding it. Uh, oh really? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, it's not a fun job. Just well, you know, it's, there holding it. Now this is one of your paintings. It happens to be. I was <laughs> in my. No, <laughs> it's I, right. I actually, we have a gallery full over there, but right. I was late, so I just grabbed something out of my studio. But uh, yes, that's a painting of uh, Jackson Falls. And when did you paint this? Last year. Last year. Yes. And uh, now this is an oil painting. It is an oil painting. And uh, but the uh, the painting that we see on the Art in the Park flyers is another one of your paintings, but that's a watercolor. Correct. So I work in both mediums and graphite. Yep. And so how long? I'm always curious about these things. How long would a painting like this take you to uh, that's a great question. produce? No, that's not. A good that's question. a great question. Oh, um, no. <laughs> I'm an exceedingly quick painter. I get a lot of flack from the people I paint with. Yeah. Um, I think this took me about two hours, hour and a half. Two hours. Wow. That's fabulous. Yeah. And uh, you, you, you should be very proud of that fact. I mean, to create yeah. something like that in, well, in that amount of time. And uh, but I, we, I run the Friday Painters Group, too. We paint all over the valley every Friday. We set a schedule. We go to a lot of private homes and a lot of public spots. And so this dedicated group of people in the organization paint all over the valley every summer That's and they've great. been doing that since the 70s and it was started by Dottie DeMarc and Nan White a famous local name in yeah. art hmm. yeah. and I now have the privilege of running the group with Sharon Soul. That's so, great and let's talk about the Mount Washington Valley Arts Association. <clears throat> We're a local nonprofit that hopes to bring art to the valley. As a matter of fact, our motto is we spread art throughout the valley. And we do. We exhibit all over town. We have exhibit space at Memorial Hospital, M&D Productions, the Conway Library, uh, the Madison Library, the Met Coffee House, who's our exhibit partner, and the downstairs gallery right here. And of course, what's great is that you're, as, as we residents of the Valley get to wander around and see the other great artists, or the artists, I can't say the other great artists for me, <laughs> uh, the artists that, that live amongst us. Yes. And so it's a great. And it's a huge art community. It is. It really, it's a huge active art community. We also um, offer classes from time to time, custom classes for individuals and families and small groups. And then we're offering an introduction to four different mediums starting the Monday and Tuesday after Art in the Park. All you have to do is write us a check and you can show up and we will give you all the materials to learn how to draw, do watercolor, acrylics, and oils in two days. Wow. Yes. It's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's just an introduction wow. so people can get a feel for what it's like to try art. Yeah. And I have to say, I've been teaching art for over 35 years, teaching drawing specifically at the college level and, and in arts associations. And everyone can draw. 
Oh, it's a P. <laughs> Teresa and I are going, I'm not so sure. That's the name of the course I teach. Someone had to talk me, an educator talked to me into teaching this years ago. But it is, if you can write in cursive, you can draw. It's a skill. And once you start, you find that it is, it's like yoga. It takes you away to another place. It's relaxing. It's consuming. And it's really very rewarding, even if you never go beyond sketching for yourself. That's great. So we try to promote that among the residents and the visitors to the valley in a lot of different ways. That's so we terrific. offer classes, too. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to wrap it up, and we're going to talk about or finish up with, so it's next Saturday. It is next Saturday. August uh, 8th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and you can't miss it because it's right in the middle of Shuler Park, it right is. in the heart of North Conway. And a uh, there's a million ways to get to Shuler Park this way and that way yeah. and up and down these roads. So, mm -hmm. And there are lots of places to park, which I think people, that's a, a huge issue. Yeah. There's parking for Shuler Park and Norcross Place down by First Bridge. Yep, down by First Bridge. Big you, then you got lot. the other way down near uh, Hammond Lumber. Yes. Can right. I also thank Hancock before Lumber, I'm sorry. before I have to wrap our uh, bronze sponsors: Alpine Title, Al Alberto and Wegar, uh, Kathy Sweeney, CPA. They're not listed on <laughs> okay. here. Um, Christmas Farm Inn, uh, Carter Notch Inn. I uh, hope I'm not. Oh, Randy Guida and Michelle Guida with R and S. And I'm probably missing someone, I'm sorry, but uh, for everyone who has contributed to help uh, make this happen again this year, thank you. Yes, well, that's great. We have contributors yes. too. And yeah. um, I didn't bring a list. M&M Assurance is one of our contributors, and we have acquiesced on North Country Fair Jeweler, who has been a longtime supporter of Art in the Park, and Badger Realty, that has been a longtime supporter of Art in the Park, and um, let them use them. We kind of share. We don't try to, to double dip here. Yeah. So um, we do have some other supporters, and we are actually expecting to hear from a couple. So there'll be a kiosk in the middle of the park that will acknowledge all of our sponsors, Terrific. both theirs and ours. Terrific. So if anybody would like to help defray costs of the tent, it would be great. Well, we take great. donations right up till the last day. <laughs> never too late. That's it's never, never too late. Too late. Never too late. To become yes. part of the festival. Yep. Well, Teresa, JP, thank you so much for coming by today. So don't forget, next Saturday, August 8th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., right in Sugar Park, Art in the Park, and uh, finding out about the nonprofits in the Mount Washington Valley. Yeah, come help thank celebrate. You. Yes. And we're back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.